Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Look, the reason why I'm pumped up, excited, feeling so great about this is because with this very design, I really, really enjoyed it when I was making it and I'm so excited to make the video tutorial of it. So if you are excited and um, you know, you are very happy to also watch this and learn how to create this it's very easy very easy we are just going to spend some few minutes to create this so stay tuned and i should be right back after the intro so before we get started into the tutorial what i have to say is if you are looking to upgrade to canva pro i have a special link in the description box below and i'll highly recommend you check it out try it out and even if even if you're not ready to pay for canva pro the same link can help you to try out canva pro for a free period which is 30 days absolutely free you don't have to pay a dime for it so you know check it out use it try to see if that's something you want but if you want to upgrade you know into your design business if you want to upgrade to an agency i would highly and highly recommend this to you so yes this is all i have to say and um, i think one more thing i want to say is just in case you know there are some elements you are not finding in canva there's this website i created for you especially which is the elements.theafricangeeks.com and um, the aim of this is just so that with any element i'm using which you're not finding in canva you can go there download them and import them in canva just to use them so that you can be able to follow through from beginning to end let's dive into the main meat of today's tutorial all right so you can see how the design is looking very interesting and very simple and no look this is so easy okay so click on add um what is the name of this uh, a page yes or a slider I, I don't know i'm just confused and so hyped and um what we are going to do is first of all you'll be starting from this page over here so when you click on create a design you choose custom dimension and just insert 1080 by 1350 and that's it and i also made a tutorial on this if i haven't posted it yet then look out or watch out for this okay so what we are going to do is i'll just change the background color to um black or to this color any color close to black okay just do that then the next thing you are going to do is to come to photos okay and you know we always and always use photos and that's why i would highly recommend you have good canva pro because you're able to use you know so many fo interesting photos canva has okay so um i will come into my recently used so that we can stick to the same type of design and um, i'll just search for the photo then i just tell you which photo you have to or the keyword you have to use to find the photo i use so this is the photo i use if i right click you can see band playing on stage so that's what you have to type in the search box over here okay then we just increase the size of this and position it right here okay so you can keep it in the center and then um, come to edit image in edit image click on adjust in adjust increase the blurriness of this image okay so you can see how we are making our image look blur which is very very easy simple fantastic bombastic yeah all of it okay then there is this cool guy over here i place him over here and i increase you know i increase all of this so you can see how this is looking i can increase it more and more so we have him like this then i come to edit image in edit image i click on bg remover so if you're on the free version of canva you can um, try out with bg um remove.bg yes and stickermill.com slash trace so that's what you have to you know to do okay so now that the background of our image has been removed i'll click on apply and i'll actually have to make sure the design is saved before i proceed now that it's saved what can i do i can proceed <laughs> yeah i don't mind okay so you can see the image is looking different from the background so what we are going to do is we are going to click on edit image in edit image click on adjust again and um we are going to be using the tint okay to add some effects so you slide it to the blue you know so you can see how everything is looking the picture is also looking bluish which is the best thing to do you understand yeah it is looking bluish nice then come into element in element search for speaker okay and you should find it coming to photos and um, you should find it but i think the best thing i'll do is to go into my recently used images okay i think i just found it but i didn't um 
you know click on it quickly but my brain wasn't thinking too fast okay so let me just scroll down and find it over here okay and then while i'm finding it, you can get yourself some no don't get yourself anything i found it okay so this is it all right so i just increase the size of it and i would you know rotate it to 15 degrees okay so once you position it like this you can duplicate it okay then what you're going to do is to rotate it horizontally okay and also okay so this is zero so we are now also going to rotate it you know like this negative 15 degrees then we position it here okay then select the two of them by holding the shift key right click and send them backward so this is what we have over here okay then maybe what we can do is hold um, control to select any image behind i'll move this to the side and um, i'll do the same over here and move it to the side over here then we duplicate it oh no 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 i want us to do, rather duplicate oh what what am i doing <laughs> i duplicate this and i would reduce the size and place it here okay but i think no it shouldn't go too far so maybe we'll drop this here and we'll do the same for this we'll also maybe drop this one over here and i'll do this drop this then maybe this one can come here and um i would select this one also duplicate it okay and reduce the size you know something like this then we can select the two of them and send them behind the guy or the dj we have over here so you know just to have something cool to do okay and i'll do the same over here but you know at the end of the day you just have to be creative with whatever thing you are doing even as you're following the video and you don't even have to do the exact thing if you think there's a better way you can um have yours i think yeah that's the best thing you can just do it how you want to you know to do it because at the end of the day you just have to feel free and be creative that's the most important thing okay so let's dive back and um let's see what we have to do okay so uh, this is look is too close so i just separate it a little bit and um yeah so this is what we have let's see what we did over here you know i think it's almost similar to what we did maybe this yeah i think it's fine it's fine look we don't have to pressure ourselves so much so what i'm going to do is i would trim the guy out like this okay then we work on these um speakers so click on the first speaker come to edit image adjust slide it all the way to the blue section to make it look like this then you know you copy the filter code select this paste the filter code here and do the same for this paste it here paste it here so this is what we have at the moment then we click back to the guy and we bring him back okay so we made him go on a little bit of a vacation or so then what we are going to do next is you know the almighty gradient image let me just duplicate it because searching for it was a lot of time so with this gradient if you do not already have it then i think you're a new person on this channel and you're welcome you know for joining us you can find this on the elements.theafricangeeks.com website and you just have to search for gradient okay so just go there search for gradient and um, you join us back okay then we position it here okay or we can just drop it down so that we can see a little bit of his hands doing the job you know then what we are going to do next is come to uploads i have to go to uploads but with what i'm about to show you if you don't have it go into the element website again okay and search for light then we are just going to position these lights on let me move this to the top over here we are going to place these lights on the speakers okay but just a round part you know the portions where the sound always come from you just place them there duplicate it i put this one also over here duplicate it which one is the duplicate okay this is the duplicate <laughs> okay duplicate it and um, i'll put this one also over here so you can see how things are looking and maybe let's position some also over here but with this one we reduce the size okay and we'll position it here duplicate position it here duplicate here 
and um no okay then here so you can see how we are making things look we are just making things look very interesting so what we can even do is i can duplicate bring this here but i'll send it behind okay just to make things look interesting so this is what we have at the moment and i bring this back here okay so this is what we have and let me send it behind okay so this is what we have at the moment and i think this is looking very interesting honestly i love this i love this so much so maybe one thing i would want us to do is select the guy okay come to edit image to um adjust okay and with the brightness reduce it a little bit like negative seven increase the contrast and the saturation okay and um, we can reduce the blurriness to make it a bit sharp but it shouldn't be too sharp okay okay so i think this is fine okay then we position this over here now that we have done that the next thing i would want us to do is to add our text okay so with the text i will just choose you know just copy the text from here and paste it here and you just have to um find the proper font you want to use but the one i'm using is for gautorio titling or titling no titling so for gautorio titling so that's what you have to search for and um you just have to type in anything at all you want this one right here is poppins which has now become my all-time favorite font i always and always use i just enjoy it so much okay then you can see we have this thing over here so let's create that first of all press c on your keyboard for circle okay position things here then what do we do okay so then you can just duplicate this and um choose white for the older one place this right on top okay then you can change the color to blue okay then click on any of the colors and press alt press and hold alt and reduce it a little bit like this you understand then you can see i have text all around so what i'm going to do is let me just duplicate this one and paste it here okay so i can just put this over here and i can say um saturday t u r d a y okay but what we are going to do is we would add a curve to it so press curve and um you're just going to adjust it position it where you want it to be and um, i think i would i want it to be bigger so i would position it here then you know just position things the way she wants okay so now that i've done it i duplicate it and now i just you know send it to none none okay then um select or come to poppins i want to use the poppins extra bold and maybe i can say 20th you know just something cool and easy so i think just to make things look good i would have to reduce the size of this come back over here and spread it out you understand so you just have to also have to be creative when it comes to doing this then you know we make this one bigger so it's going to be happening here in ghana so i just <coughs> sorry so i just um put the date so 16th no what did i just what did i say over there okay so june so j-u-n-e 2022 okay so i select or come to effect again and i choose negative 85 okay so then i position this one also over here so this is what we have so now what we're going to do is we select the one behind press and hold shift then select this select this select this and make sure you select the blue then use ctrl g to group all of it okay then reduce the size and move it somewhere no somewhere here anywhere you want to move it to then send it to the back so you just send it backward okay so that it looks interesting like this then the last thing i did was to add my logo so with this one look i don't think i should be teaching you how to create simple things like this but if you insist 
what i just did was i came to um elements and i just searched for what did i even search for i searched for music logo okay i think so yeah so um you can go through to find any logo at all you know that suits you then you add the text to it and you group them then you say present that's it like you know, this is something very easy we have been able to create and um i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you didn't let me know in the comment section and um, the last thing i would want to say is there are so many videos you can check one is on my screen so the name is benjamin don't forget there's no limit to creativity and i will see you in my next video